Welcome everybody to a brand new tutorial in After Effects, a new glitch tutorial. Now this one you need no plugins for, you need no anythings for. So basically we're just going to go through some basic general effects. Um, we're going to call this first layer background BG. And let's bring up the text tool and let's just type in text. That's a good start. Let's align that text. If you don't have this align panel, just go to Window, Align. It'll be there. It figures things out for you. You can do all the work right from there. You have no other things to do. So with that text, you can hold down Control alt and hit the Y key, and that brings up a new adjustment layer. You can hit Enter to rename these layers if you so desire. So we're going to name this one Old. It'll make sense in a bit. We'll do that again. We're going to hit Enter again. We're going to rename this one Weak. Now. Built into After Effects, if you type in TV, you have three TV effects. The first one is Warp, not as good. Second one is Old, pretty good. The third one is Weak, my personal favorite. So within these here, this one's Weak, this one I'm just going to bring the Old one onto, and I'm going to hide it. So within these, you have a lot of things that they automatically do for you, and it automatically varies and randomizes and does cool things. So, from there, you see that there's these black parts. If I take off the transparency, you see that it basically is nothing. So, the way to fix that is to go to this wave warp in the pinning, click on that all edges. That fixes the problem. Do that for both of them cuz we're going to be throwing some things around here. So, when you have both of these, you have all of it right set and ready to go. Let's start with the old we're going to get old first and then we'll go from there. So, with this old layer, you can use the page up and page down keys to move layer at a time. Hold down alt and hit close bracket on your keyboard and you can stop the, uh, the layer. So, you have this little glitch, if you will, of the old TV effect. You can duplicate that, control or command D and slide it around. So then maybe let's drag out, maybe this one's only going to be one frame. Uh, since that one's hard to grab, we're going to bring this one over the top. Maybe this one's going to be a little bit longer, but not right away. So there we go. And then let's do the same thing with the weak one. So now we have this weak effect. Alt open bracket will start the frame, or the layer rather, and then Alt close bracket. Let's move some of these around. Let's uh, maybe overlap them a slight bit and just kind of get some different things going here. So within this, so you see that it has this these effects. I have to turn these ones back on. And you have some interesting things. So I am just going to duplicate this short weak one just to kind of make it look like there are things going on. If you have nothing else held down, you can hit command or just open bracket or close bracket and it will snap the layer this will be open bracket this will be close bracket to the beginning or the end depending upon what effect you're going for so now it's kind of all over the place there's a second and a half of lots of things happening so that handles the background what about the text so custom commands there are different ways that you can do this I like the personalization of just doing it yourself there are definitely some ways that you can do it without any of the stuff that I'm going through. I'm going to toggle transparency so it looks good again. Typically, it's just going to be a black background by default, so any of that transparency that you get is just going to show up as black. So just keep that into effect, not like you have a white background and it shades black and sees through things and other layers and whatnot. So within this text, let's hit the scale and let's hold shift and hit P for position. So within this, let's keyframe that. Boom. And let's go hit page down once, change that to one keyframe. Let's make this huge and let's bring it down to here. Go back, hit page down again, right click on position, reset, right click on scale, reset. So now, after the, you reset the position though, you have to realign it. But you don't have to do that every time because check this out. Now we've got this little boop, this little glitch there. You see that? It's a little bit of a glitch. It glitches. It does glitchy things. So, you can select all of those, Command or Control C to copy, move that around. Now you hit paste. So now this middle keyframe is the only one that you have to change. So now you can scale it down. Maybe you want a tinier one. Maybe you want a small glitch. Maybe you want to just 
have this little guy in the corner. So now you've got bam o, you've got, just got this little glitch, and it looks pretty darn fantastic. So then we can copy this first one again, copy it, repaste it, and now you've got this massive amount of glitchness that's going on. And let's paste that again. Let's move forward a frame just to get this one going. Let's size it down a little bit. Let's bring it up to the top and let's show this one over more to the last characters of the word. So you can do this with anything ever that you want to glitch. And this is some ways that you can glitch things. I'm just going to move this layer here. So you can do things to then change up some glitches and do some things without these expensive plugins. So some of these are going to be a little bit too quick. If you want to make them different, you can extend and prolong the glitch effect. You can move the keyframes on both sides of the scale and position out. So for example, if we want to move these out, you can select, oops, I didn't want to do that. You can select these two, slide them out a frame, select these two, slide them out a frame, and boom. So then what you get is a little bit longer of one. It'll zoom in, but it will make more of an effect. So guys, thank you all so much for this. I hope that this shows you a little bit more of an insight on some glitch effects that you can do with an After Effects without any plugins that you can use to make intros. You can do anything with these. I think these are some really cool effects that After Effects has for you that will still make great, amazing things. And you can add to it, definitely. I can do videos in the future where you add things to this template, if you will. But let me know what you guys think about this. If you learned something today, leave a like on the video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.